and welcome back to my channel. So this is the first Fossil Friday of 2020, which is kind of exciting, also kind of not, but as it's the new year and I'm still the same old messy me, I thought I would try and tidy up my fossil office area. Um, so I have decided that I really want to get myself some proper tools to prep my fossils with, so I'm thinking like some air tools or dentist tools, apparently they're meant to be good, but I want to invest in a good like setup in order to prep my fossils because a lot of the ones on this table they're just waiting for a little like a little bit of work on them and then I can bring them into my house and put them on display and hopefully I'll have space in my house for them all but they're currently just sitting here gathering dust and I really want to prep them and do them properly and I don't want to ruin them so I'm thinking an air scribe or an air tool might be best a lot of you guys really helped me out on my Instagram so thank you so much for that I got some really good suggestions so I don't know if you guys can hear this, my neighbour is really annoyingly mowing their lawn right now. Can you hear that? You might not even be able to hear anything, but it's driving me nuts. We're just going to carry on, even though that is driving me nuts, um, and hopefully my voice will cancel it out. Like, they're crunching up something, are they? They're not mowing lawn right now, they're mowing sticks. I don't even know. But we can start off by admiring my jumper. Yep, that's an ammonite made out of dinosaurs. Oh, and is that is that God on my side right now? They're mowing away from my house. I can't even hear it anymore. It's kind of silence, you can still hear it a little bit. Right, let's get on with this. So this is basically what we're dealing with. There's stuff all underneath this bench as well. And there's all stuff down the side here. And then if I just move you guys down a little bit, you can see there is loads of rocks down here as well. So. I don't really need to worry about the stuff underneath the table, it's more this surface here. I don't need the whole surface clear, but I need like part of it because here is my big Megalitoceros ammonite. I did do a video on it um, and that's the one I really want to prep properly, like ASAP. So that's the one that I'm going to get the air tools to do because um, I don't, I was thinking of getting a Dremel, like an engraver, but I don't want to damage that fossil, like it's very precious to me so I want it to go well hopefully. I'm going to be using these crates here which are just kind of flimsy plastic ones but they work really well for storage just to put some of the stuff on the top in. This is still one of my favourite ammonites. I probably have shown you this one before. I just really like it. So I'm just going to start placing some of the larger rocks in just to clear some table room. This one I stole from my professor. I do intend to give it back even though I'm no longer at that university but I'll do that at some point. <laughs> uh, have I shown this one before? Probably not. This uh, little circle at the top here is part of a crinoid stem. So crinoids were plants that lived like in the Jurassic swamps um, and seas, that type of thing. So I don't know where to put this. I'm going to put it here. Oh, this is probably a really bad idea. Let me show you what I've just done. <laughs> So I have some tyres ready to go on a car and there I've just balanced it on there so that's going to come crashing down. So I think for an air tool you don't need too much space, um, just kind of like a little portion where you're working. So it's more going to be the um, air compressor and the ventilator, that type of thing, so that's all going to have to go next to the table anyway. Um, so I'm just going to try and clear a bit of this space if I can, just putting it here, there and everywhere. I still love this one. It kind of reminds me of a doorstop, even though it's just like a nice flat rock, but it's just a sea-worn pebble, but I think it looks really pretty because you can kind of see the pyrite in it. So here's another nice sea-worn pebble. Um, it's just got a nice ammonite in it and then it's just rolled into that. I don't know what I'm going to do with these pebbly ones, especially like this sort of size. Um, I haven't quite worked that out yet, but I don't want to get rid of them just yet. I kind of want them to go some either to someone who wants them or um, somewhere around my house <laughs> or in my garden, maybe. But I always have the mentality that if you don't save them from the beach, they'll just get turned into like sand anyway. So I kind of I feel like a rescue rescuer when it comes to my fossils, which is why I have so many. It's dangerous. So these are sample bags, so I collect these sample bags just from clothing companies, so they're just nice Ziploc bags but they're really useful so I want to keep that to one side. We don't want to get rid of those. 
Then here we have a really cool Bellum Knight, so you can see the Fragma cone there. Um, so that can go on my shelf up here. I think a lot of these rocks, there's actually nothing... Like I, I'm looking at this one here, I don't know what I, my plan was to do with it. I do not know. I mean that can go in the basket for now until I figure it out. Then there's a nice ammonite here. So this one is an amalfius ammonite because if you look at the edge here it kind of looks like the edge of a pastry and that's how I remember. <laughs> so that can just go in. That's probably one for my uh, fossil jar inside. I have like a jar of just ammonite fragments and bits of bellumite so that works well for that. This is part of the junction bed sediments that I did my dissertation on. So this is some funky coloured limestone. Yep, super interesting. Uh, what else do we have? A ruler. This is still the greatest thing I ever had on my dissertation. I have broken it, but you can like measure rocks really well with it. I found that very useful. Okay. See, I don't, like, I have no idea what this is, and I've just kept it. I think I, th I think it was an ammonite of some sort, but I genuinely don't know. And then it's got loads of bits of crinoidal in it. So all these little white squarey things are part of the plant, I believe. So we'll put that in my basket. There's no harm in that. This is just a pretty looking rock. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of those. Right, it's no longer staying on the tire. I'm gonna have to move this. Onto the floor it goes. <laughs> so this is a bag of rocks I found on, so there's some ammonite fragments in there, but then there's also some crabs. So I found these in the Pyrenees on a field trip. I don't know if it's focusing. Please be focusing. You can get the rough shape of it though. Is it not focusing? There we go. So this is a crab I found in the Pyrenees. Um, so you can see some detailing on it, but it's just pretty cool, I think. And I found another one somewhere. Where's the other one? This, here it is. So this one's actually got some of its um, texture still there. Don't know if you guys can see that. So I found something other than an ammonite, which is pretty cool. And then of course, more ammonite fragments. So this one's perfect for my jar as well. So realistically, I should keep this bag to one side and put those in with my jar, just so I can try and start processing this stuff because it's bad. Right, we've got loads of sample bags here. So I'll put the other one in there. Get the air out of it. So these are just perfect for when I go on my fossil hunting trips because it means I can like protect them and keep them organised which is really useful for me anyway. Especially if I'm writing a paper about it. If I'm just collecting it's not as important but um, it is useful. Oh this is quite cool. Can you see the shell going down there? It's like a swirly one. Maybe and then there's like a crystallised one there. Very pretty. Don't know what my plan is with this one, but looks nice. <laughs> Into my basket. That's the thing, I need to actually work out what I want to do with a lot of these rocks, because I have this huge one here. Let me show you. Maybe some of you can advise me on this one, because I have no clue. Oh, it's really heavy as well. Okay, so it's this massive lump, and then there's an ammonite down the bottom here. Only like half of one, but I just took it because I thought it looked cool. But it's really heavy and it's really hard rock. So I don't actually know if there's any prepping options for me with this one. And it's just massive. So, I mean, I'll keep this on the table for now. Oh, I tell you, you don't need to go to the gym with fossils. They weigh enough. <laughs> um, I just need to work out if there's any way to clean it up. Because if there's not, I'll just get rid of that one. So that one can just go on the edge again, if I can move it there. Okay. Do, do, do. I nearly lost my crock. I am literally the, I am such a fashion icon right now. I am wearing corduroys 
with socks and Crocs. Like, it doesn't get any sexier than that. Right, we're actually making some headway here. Like, can you see this? This is all table space. Let's keep going. This is actually really good. <laughs> I really needed to do this, otherwise, because I was gonna, I need to buy all the stuff and work out exactly what I'm buying, but the fact I've got space for it now makes me feel a lot happier buying it. <laughs> Pretty Hildothrus, am I night. But yeah, I'm thinking of buying my air tools from a guy called Ken Manon. Manon, something like that. But if you guys have any recommendations on maybe where you got yours from or know any good places to get them from, I'd be very open to hearing about it. And also if you have any guidance of like getting all the bits and bobs to go with the air tools, um, that would be fab. Because I know it's going to cost a lot getting all the bits and bobs, but I want to do it right. So ignoring the wonderful flower bike lights, these, this is like sort of just a little shelf I made out of bricks and wood just to clear up the table a little bit. So it's still a little bit hectic, but it means I can put a lot of the smaller ones up there. And then obviously the big ones are down here, which need some work, but they do look awesome just as they are. And then these ones along here, I need to decide if I actually want to keep. Um, this one in particular, I know I've shown it to you already, but it's just... I don't know if there's anything I can do to it, so it might just be worth getting rid of that one and then moving on to the ones that I can do. Um, but yeah, nice mushroom punnet here full of bits and bobs. This is also a mushroom uh, punnet. Bit of a bigger one, but also full of little bits of ammonites. But yeah, I've got lots to do, but um, hopefully I'm on the road to getting it done. Touch wood. Okay, so I'm going to call that a day. I think there's, it's not cluttered now anymore. So this is, these two are the big ones that I want to work on with the air pen first. Um, I will do some practice on some rocks that I don't care about too much to get the hang of how to use it. But I've at least got some space now to actually work. Next job will be sorting out some space where my feet go because uh, we've got kind of a boulder pile here and like crates here and crates there. So there's still a lot to go, but a lot of it is processing it and making it look pretty. So yeah, I've got some thinking to do. But yeah, I'm thinking of getting my air tools from a guy called Ken Manon, I think is his name. But if you guys have any recommendations on where to get this sort of stuff and also all the components I need, like I've got a rough idea, but this is my first time buying anything like that. So I actually have no idea and um, the only idea I, it's kind of guidance I've got from other people so um, I'm open to hearing more if you guys have anything to say but um yeah it's just learning what tools are gonna be best because I want to do it right I don't want to get something that's gonna maybe not look good like the Dremel engraver tool was great but sometimes it can leave a bit of a um, not an effect I'm after if that makes sense so the air tool gets a much cleaner look that's the kind of vibe I've got anyway from what people have been saying so I'd much rather invest a bit more get that than um, spend less money but ruin an amazing fossil that I found because I'm still obsessed with my megalithosaurus um, I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen that but um, it was just a crazy discovery that one and I found it during my dissertation which makes it kind of like even more special but anyway that's the rambling over I hope you enjoyed this video just watching me tidy it doesn't actually sound that fun now um but yeah thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what you'd like to see um in the next fossil Fridays but um yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully you'll stay for more